What is going on guys, it's Charizardix YouTube here, and I am glitching in this guy's body, but yeah, this is Charizardix YouTube here, and today we are playing survival games, but we're on a different server this time, we are not actually on MCSG, we are on the Hive, now, it's not because MCSG did anything bad, but I did want to play on the Hive for some random reason, so that's what we're doing, so we're playing on the Hive, we got some, we got some pretty good stuff, not... Not the greatest of the great stuff, but I don't think that there's a chest up here on the hive. I don't even know if this is still a route up here, but this is my route on TSG2, and I'm not sure if it still works. Let's check it out. Hopefully, there's like an ender chest up here somewhere, and if not, well, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really, um, I do have a couple of things to talk about there. Not really the most interesting well they might be inter interesting to you guys for topics and oh there actually is i hope this is a tier two chest um i think that's the tier one on the hive i'm not sure i don't really play hive all that often so i couldn't tell you um so one of the things that i want to talk about today is my 1.8 opinions on mcsg even further so after further play testing with mcsg again that is not the reason why i did not upload mcsg today because i was having problems um i actually just really wanted to record on the hive because i don't think i've ever recorded on the hive so it, it's pretty cool i mean i no not even on my old channel if i wasn't doing sg heroes i've never recorded regular sg on the hive and i don't know i think hive deserves more credit because um, I, this is my first game of the day. I didn't mention that, but it's not a bad server for survival games whatsoever. But keeping on with the topic here, um, 1.8. Some things that I've realized: one, um, the hits aren't really odd; they're just a little weird. The only thing that really bugs me out of like the graphical changes in 1.8 is that their armor. Um, a lot of people have talked about that only their body lights up now when they get hit, um, not. Uh, not their armor like it used to be and it kind of annoys me because um, I can't really tell when somebody's getting hit um, Something else that I've noticed is that the fishing rod doesn't really do as much knockback as it does now This is one that I not really that mad about. I've seen a lot of people complain about it though um, that the fishing rod um, Doesn't do like anything at all. I I can tell that it does do something just maybe not as well as it did oh let's get this guy i need his pants let's strafe him a bit okay he's not gonna hit me but let's keep on going here um yeah so um sorry if you guys heard somebody come into my room which was really really loud um i don't know why they don't get that um they can't just like come in quietly and leave quietly but continuing on um but yeah the hive is pretty good um again the fishing rod knockback sorry i just remembered what i was talking about fishing rod knockback it's not as good as it used to be so rods aren't that great in 1.8 i'm not gonna say that they're bad but they're just not as good i actually don't want that gold sword um yeah they're not really that good in 1.8 i mean i'm still gonna use them because it still does work uh sometimes it doesn't work really all the time but it's not something that i'm that mad about so can i actually use this crafting table i didn't actually know there was anything up here like when i find a map sometimes i just look up a chest route video as i did with this map because um i don't know i really just didn't have time to make my own route so i never really get to go exploring the map so i guess on the hive i can Again, 1.8 PvP isn't bad. I'm not switching. I'm MCSG is still my primary server for survival games. And hopefully, you can get the Chaos SMP started because uploading survival games might be getting a little boring for you guys. I don't know. Um, I might be starting some new series very, very soon. I still have to get stuff worked out. Um, but there might be a new series in the midst. So, look out for that. Uh, is there anything in this wagon here? No, I don't think so. I thought I just saw someone's name. Okay, that scared me for a second. 
for like just half of a second half of a half of a second i think we're over here by the river now no no, no we're at the fort it's fort something i can't remember the name pretty sure it has a name at least yeah i'm almost positive this fort thing has a name oh it's cool how it's like shooting in okay somebody was here dang it all right let's head out of here all come to spawn please to team with him i don't even know what that's saying but yeah i am lagging i don't know what's been going on recently but this is gonna show like 400 ping okay 200 so i'm not lagging i actually thought i was for a bit i might have been for a little bit but when i was in the lobby it was showing something crazy like 400 ping but i don't really come on the hive all that often so it doesn't really bother me that sometimes people can quote unquote ping play me i don't really like using that term because i don't know blaming your loss on someone's ping again getting off to a little tangent here isn't really something you should do um if you recognize that somebody has good ping work around it there are ways that you can beat people with good ping if you're going for uh, an all-out sword fight with somebody with better ping than you and you're the one who rushes in you can't complain that they have good ping because you're the one who rushed in maybe the guy won't wanted to play defensive and you forced him to play offensive because you rushed in at him but yeah i did want to talk about something else but i think i'll just save it for another video um yeah this is just gonna be a pvp video i guess just talking about my experiences um i'm also branching out to other games i don't know if i'll ever bring them to the channel but i am playing other games um csgo not gonna get good at it i don't get addicted to first person shooters uh, my experience with the first person shooters uh there's they're fun every once in a while so i never actually buy them this is the first first person shooter i've actually bought and it's fun playing with friends every once in a while it's really boring when i play alone um but yeah it's i'm no i'm not good at it at all it's just really fun sometimes I can get some nice kills, but it's pretty much just luck. I don't think anybody even wants to watch me play a CSGO because it's... I'll say it's quite it's quite a sight to see. <laughs> and that, uh, I, that's, that's all about it for other games I play. I do play other games such as League. <laughs> Nerd play League. It's... Whatever, I play Zelda games. I actually started uh, Skyward Sword on my Wii U the other day. It's actually just a Wii game, but um, I didn't feel like hooking up my Wii, so I just put in my Wii U, and I started Skyward Sword, and the graphics for its time look absolutely amazing. It came out in 2011, but the Wii doesn't have very good graphics, so it looks pretty good for being on a 480p console this guy is like where is everyone he knows I'm up here oh I'm lagging oh he's dead all right I'm glad I got that guy Whew. that was kind of close he shouldn't have come up first because that made him so easy to hit off there. Not hit off as in hit off the side, not as in DDoSing. So don't get a wrong idea there, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't DOS. I think people who DOS uh, should probably go get a life and not do that to people. Even if you don't like them, it's just not something that you do. Like, people have families that might be using the internet and when you do that to somebody's internet they might get in trouble for it and yeah i'm just getting off so many like life lessons sort of things today you shouldn't like ddos people's internet i mean that should be a given why why on earth would you do that but we're actually going to deathmatch here and i've killed two people um they weren't the best of kills but oh i can make some bread all right so we got some pretty okay saturated food. I think I actually, let's try to get like hunger down. Okay, so this person got like full leather. Okay, let's go for them. Hey, Katie May. Oh, they were lagging, I'm sorry. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. Wait, what? 
Did I seriously win? What the heck? I actually won that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't even know. I was expecting some like final battle countdown-ish thing. Like, oh, it's going to get intense. So I'm going to go silent. And then I just ghost killed someone and won. Like, what the heck? That button doesn't do anything. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I guess that's a high video. Anybody who wanted it, if you guys enjoyed this episode, I can't get over that. That was that was pretty great. If you guys did enjoy this episode of Survival Games on the Hive, make sure you go leave a like down below and ask me if you'd like me to play on some other survival game servers every once in a while. Um, probably an MCSG video tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a video out on Saturday because I do have something for school on Saturday. Um, yeah, this was Charizard X YouTube, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.